Okay. Next, I'm going to put in my coconut oil. Now, when it's um, when it was liquefied, and right now it's pretty, it's um, fairly solid. When it was liquefied, I would use probably a two count, and I just pour it right in. But with it being a little bit on the solid side, I'm using a full tablespoon, and I'm going to put it right in there. Just need a tablespoon for this amount that I'm making. And then next, I go to my watermelon seed oil. And let me get it open. My watermelon seed oil. And with this, I'm going to pour in, for this amount, I don't even think I'm going to do like a full count, but I'm going to use half. A little more than half, actually, of a capful. And I'm just going to pour the capful in. Um, it's, a very, it's a very light oil. Very light. It doesn't have any smell, though. It doesn't smell like watermelon, unfortunately, because that, I think that that would be so, so fresh and nice if it did, but it doesn't. Uh, the other thing is, the next thing is I'm going to put in my cactus oil which we do for a three count, one, but squeeze two, three, and kind of squeeze some of that out there because it'll just drip in. And then next I'm going to do the mango and shea butter lotion, and I'm going to give this, I think I'm going to give it like two squirts, um, and that should be good. And last... I'm going to put in my black seed oil. Okay. This is going to be like one. It's like a one count for me. Okay. Now, it looks like it's it's black. and it, Well, it is black, obviously, but it doesn't, it's not going to turn the color of your mix any darker, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, at this point, once I have this stuff in, I go ahead and I start whipping before I put in my fragrance. So I'm going to whip it a little bit, and I'll be right back. Okay, this is the initial whip stage. I probably whipped it for about two minutes because it was just that, that little... Um, that little amount. So I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of a look where it starts to get creamy. So it's looking kind of creamy, but it's still a lot of chunks in here. So I'm going to go ahead and mix it for another two minutes. I'll be back. Okay, I came back. I just wanted to try something. I Unfortunately, I don't have a good way to kind of set up my camera while I'm mixing, but I'm going to try to do a little bit just so you can see how I'm how I'm doing it. Um, it's gonna get a little noisy, but it's just for um, it's just gonna be for just some purposes of showing you um, what's going on. Uh, this is a very little cheap mixer, so it's very loud. And um, here we go. is really just to try to get some of those um, I'm usually making a lot uh, a lot more but um, I'm gonna whip it a little bit more and then when it comes out nice and creamy the consistency that I'm looking for I'll be back okay so this is where it's getting a little bit to that smooth kind of frosting like um, consistency that I like. So this is the part where I start to put in my essential oils so it can get the fragrance that that I like. So for this little bit, I'm just pouring in a capful of the orange, and then I'm going to pour, I'm just going to let some of the grapefruit drip in here. Now this is the kind of thing where you know, the amount that you want to use is completely up to you. It all depends on how much you want it to smell like um, your essential oil. So it's completely up to you at this point. With that, 
actually you can see I put it in there and kind of stir it around a little bit and try to get the the shea butter um, off the sides and then I do what? I whip it some more. I'll be back. Okay, I think this is where I want it to be because, wait, let me just switch hands for a second. Um, because this is the part where, to me, it looks very much like frosting. Like you can just, you know, when you, when you, it doesn't have that, that consistency that the shea butter would have if it was just, um, you know, in its regular state, you know, like that. So this is really coming out the way I like it. Um, and, you know, I usually try to make sure I scrape the side of the bowl just like, just like frosting, just like little cake. And now this is the part that I want to thank Miss Tea Cake for showing me in her video because... The hard part, or not the hard part, but I guess the messy part would be um, getting it into the little, the little bowl or the little jar that I'm going to be using afterwards. So um, I'm going to show you what she did, and then um, we're almost done. All right, be back. <laughs> 